Hey everybody, Adam here, and welcome to another episode of How I... Dot, dot, dot. In this episode of How I, I'm going to teach you how I jarred these olives. First of all, got to take you back a little bit to all the other How I's and just say that there's a theme here, there's a thread here, and if you follow my life story, you're going to understand how this came to happen, but... Let's go a little bit backwards and see the tree that these olives came from. Let's start there. We're here on my farm in Portugal. And those olives that are in the jar came from this tree. So how I did it was I came to Portugal and I bought a farm. Uh, we spent quite a few thousand euros to buy a farm with 10 of these trees of olives. This is right off the tree. And if you eat this, it doesn't taste very good. It's like green bitterness. But if you score them twice, um, I'm going to do this for you guys. It's so green and bitter. It's just, as you would imagine eating a dandelion or something. So olives off the tree don't taste good. Um, and people in the Middle East, I guess, figured that out. I did that for you guys. Uh, so here we are in Portugal, as south as you can get before you hit Africa. Basically, I'm in North Africa, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. And um, on my farm here, Love Farm Stay, you can look it up. It's on the grid, <laughs> off the grid and on the grid. It's on the grid in the sense that you can look us up. I'm pretty easy to find online. Off the grid in, in the sense that uh, we're not connected to any power supply or water supply. I'm off the grid that way. So I scored them twice with a knife. And then I soaked them in brine. Now, when you talk about brine, people might ask, well, what type of brine did you use? Brine just means salty water, brackish, salty water. So in my case, what I did was I had this... Um, I had this idea years ago that if I was to ever be close to the ocean and I needed ocean water for like salty water for something, I would just use the ocean. So we went down to, um, to the ocean, the, it's like five minutes from here, basically. If you look at the coast, Portugal is like, has a giant west coast and a giant southern coast. So I'm about maybe 10 minutes away from the ocean in the sense that you just drive straight down anywhere and there's the southern ocean. So I collected um, ocean water. And because there's people swimming in it, you might think, okay, I don't want to be asked later what, you know, what I did to purify the water. So I boiled it. If you just boil ocean water, it's still ocean water, but the bacteria in it is dead and it's um, still salty. If you continually boil it, then eventually you get to the point where uh, there's salty paste and you can collect that and dry it out even further and sell it as uh, ocean salt. The Israelis do it. You can... Um, so what I did was I boiled the water and then I added the water uh, to these olives in this exact jar and then waited 15 days. 15 days later, I took these olives out of the jar, just the olives in, in the ocean water that was boiled. I dumped the, dumped out the uh, olives into a colander and then did everything again. Added the boiled ocean water and then waited uh, seven days. Seven days brought us up to yesterday. And yesterday I took these out, uh, emptied the brackish water. And you have to empty it. It goes like a brownie, brownie water brownie um and it doesn't taste good it's got like all that green bitterness basically in it and yesterday i took it out took out that water flushed it added this fresh boiled ocean water and i added some garlic and a couple pieces of local pepper from our garden so these are official love farm stay olives now when i say scored them you'll see the the lines here how I scored them. So the fluid that they're in is ocean water. And now, to me, 
it tastes like like salty, a little bit of garlic. I love that I put the local pepper in there. I mean, off the top, they're edible. I think I think going forward, I might try to take the pits out. But so I've talked to other farmers out here, and they've said, "Look, for the price, for the hassle that you're going to go through of trying to jar olives, just buy them for a dollar. They're really cheap here. Same with really good, high quality oil because you can buy high quality oil from." olives but yeah i jarred my first olives right here i want to show you how i did it that's how i did it no more and no less there's love there's olives i showed you the tree it came from that is not an olive tree that is a alfalroba tree or a carob tree carob is a whole other animal but i wanted to show you um this is the guy right here that one where I got the olives from. And I have um, about 10 more of those on the property. So if you want to learn how to jar olives, you can come visit me in the mountains of Portugal and I'll show you how I did it. I, I'm going to show you exactly the same thing I just said in the video, but maybe I can walk you through it. In this case, the process took, geez, 15 days plus uh, the seven days of the next week. And we're at the day that I'm finally comfortable with, I am finally comfortable with eating them. I was like, I should wait a couple more days. Today, tomorrow, I don't know how long they're going to last because uh, we all have been anxiously waiting for them. But today's Friday, August 23rd, 2024. I would venture to guess that the, the first batch will be gone by the end of the weekend, knowing me. Could, my, my kids and I both can just sit here and eat all of So was it worth a dollar? I spent more in fuel probably going to collect the ocean water. The time to get the olives off the tree uh, was not a big deal. Uh, I could, you know, I pick one in front of you, just times that by, you know, a few minutes, scoring them, putting them in some water. It's really the patience, you know, and swapping out the water was the, the, the tricky part, but that's how I did it. That's how I jarred Daddy? my first batch of olives. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.